So, um, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to educational workshop organized by Bildman with focus on workflow optimization for analysis of fecal cow protectin. As you can see from the topic, we will take you on a journey from time when calprotectin was niche analysis performed by well-trained, dedicated technicians behind closed doors in well-ventilated rooms to the present time when calprotectin is analyzed along with other biomarkers on completely automated platforms. My name is Alexandra Havelka. I'm general manager of Gentian Diagnostics in Sweden, and I have been working with Calprotectin during the last 15 years. So I will give you a short historic overview over development of Calprotectin as analysis and development of the first methods for analysis of Calprotectin. So the journey starts at early 80s in Norway in a research group led by Magne Fagerhol they discovered the protein in leukocytes. They, they have also isolated and characterized this protein and the name is L1 for leukocyte 1. 12 years after discovery, they developed the first method and finally you can measure calprotectin concentration in stool. Not many labs are using this method. Uh, mainly because of the extraction. Because you need five gram of stool, at least. The sample has to be homogenized by sonication in glass beakers. It's a very high contamination risk. The method is unhygienic and cumbersome. So there are only 13 publications between 92 and 2000 about calprotectin in stool. But year 2000, uh, the method is improved. There is new publication coming out and the ELISA method is available uh, for everyone. The, the main, the key um, success of this method is that pre-analytic phase is uh, improved. You need only 50 to 100 milligram of stool. Uh, you homogenize by vortexing in closed plastic tubes. So people are starting to use calprotectin year 2000. And since then, calprotectin has moved from being unpopular uh, analysis uh, with very cumbersome pre-analytic phase to very simple extraction, which could be performed by patients or by staff in the laboratory from ELISA platform with long turnaround times to fully automated high throughput uh, platforms. So many of you recognize this increasing uh, amount of fecal samples in laboratory. Uh, this is example from a laboratory in Sweden. When um, 2004, the method was introduced into the routine with 1,000 samples per year. Today, they have 23,000 samples per year. And this is, of course, huge demand for laboratories to deal with this increasing amount of stool coming in. So there are need for improvement and optimization of both pre-analytical and analytical phase. So today, you will hear about three solutions on workflow optimization from three different labs. But we will start with uh, clinical aspects. So we will learn how is calprotectin used in a clinic. So it's my pleasure to introduce the first speaker, Patrick van Rennen, pediatric gastroenterologist from University Medical Center in Groningen, Netherlands. Welcome. 